breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Femi Falana says INEC needs to take responsibility for establishing an election that has been one of the worst in the history of Nigeria. For the fact that nobody's speaking or nobody's saying anything does not mean that they are doing anything right at all. You know, INEC conducted an election and up till now, they are, they are in court both in Nigeria and the U.S. Because Atiku had to take the case to the U.S. for the U.S. to prove to Nigeria if one of the participants, who apparently is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, actually qualified in the first place to participate in the very said election. And if you look at the U.S. court, unlike the Nigerian one, look at the pace, the speed at which things are going. You'll be surprised. So there's a lot involved if you look at it. Both home and abroad, there is case over what INEC conducted. Because INEC went to Shitan's house and was telling the whole world and everyone who cares to listen that they will conduct one of the most incredible elections. We adopted, you know, digitalization, saying everything is going to be done decently and in order. But guess what? Somebody say trick. The greatest deceit of the century. They came back and they went to the same old ways that they've been holding election before. Putting pe people, you know, in more terrible situation and state than you can ever imagine. Yes, these are some of the things that have happened. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As Falana says, INEC needs to pay. We can't be quiet. No. INEC needs to take responsibility for establishing and carrying, or carrying out an election that is causing a lot of controversies even today. Femi Falana, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a human rights activist, has ascertained that the election commission should be petitioned. They should bear the burden of, that, of what they have demonstrated. They conducted an election that today is causing controversies both home and abroad. A president has been declared Yet, there are still issues over this matter. INEC told Nigerians they will conduct an election with which everybody will be able to, will be able to tell what the figures are as results will be filled from the polling units. Election came and gone, and not, nothing of such has happened. Nigerians waited for results to be transmitted live. INEC did no such thing. Today, there are cases both at home and abroad. INEC needs to take responsibility. They need to rise to the occasion and ensure that they remember that they have a responsibility to Nigerians. The whole commission needs to be checked again. The rules, the laws, and every process needs to be evaluated. What we have today is not working. And this is why there are so many cases in court. INEC should go through a lot of overhauling and we need to look at our constitution again. The places that have been held on for, for, for long, that has been a lie, needs to be checked to ensure that we don't have an occurrence of what we have currently right now. As Nigerians, if we want to move forward, we need to be honest. So this is Femi Falana saying, INEC needs to, we need to go back to the drawing board. Yes, for the fact that everybody's quiet does not mean it was right. What INEC has done is, is beyond words. How INEC has comported and has carried out themselves in all that has happened, it is not right. We have cases both home and abroad because INEC did not do their due diligence. I mean, how can somebody has participated in an election before? And yet, that same person does not have a digital bank of, you know, all his credentials or whatever is submitted still available. Should I tell you part of what is making Tinubu go to, uh, Atiku go, go to all the way to, the, to, to court in the U.S.? I'll tell you, the credentials that Tinubu submitted back in 1999 and 2023 do not match. Please confirm. They do not match. There are a lot of what is submitted then. The primary school you attended then is not the same primary school you attended now. And it's the same human being. One lifetime, not two lifetime, one lifetime. 
The same primary school then is a different one from now. The secondary school then is a different one from now. So everybody is not asking, are you twice? I saw you there. I saw you here. Are you twice? I saw you there. I'm also seeing you here. Are you twice? He says, so it's about time. I neck take responsibility and we should not shy away from it. All this many numerous petition in court today is because somebody is not taking responsibility. There is so much lies on ground, so much lies on ground. Somebody is not taking responsibility. We are, we are trivializing it. We're not taking things seriously and we're making a joke of it. That's why things are the way they are. That's why things are the way they are. If we want to be honest and sincere and serious, we should not, we should, we should be, we should rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. So this is what is happening right about now. You can't, you can't come and be lying to us. People are in court trying to sort out themselves, you know, get on. But guess what? You are the cause. And yet you are, you are roaming free. Why the people are suffering, trying to navigate and get through the whole, no, 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 no. What is wrong is wrong. There's no other name for it. If it is wrong, it is because it's wrong. So these are some of the things that are sincerely truly happening. And we all need to rise up to it. We all need to take, you know, we all need to, you, we all need to begin to, uh, you know, uh, get on and ensure that at the end of the day, every single person, okay, every single person is doing all that is needed and necessary. If we need to speak out, we speak out. Okay, where we need to where we need to ensure that the truth is manifested, we do not, you know, we, we do not compromise on that. We say it as it is. We say it as it is, and we do not compromise on the truth. So these are some of the things that are happening in the last couple of uh, days, stroke months, and you know, everybody is just wondering how do we sort this out? What genuinely do we need to do? What genuinely do we need to do? What what? You know, what other, you know, what other responsibility should we put on ourselves to ensure that at the end of the day, none of us is kept down? Because people are going through a lot, I can assure you for free. There's too much going on. And we, we know it. We know. So let's not just be quiet, uh, you know, thinking that, uh, you know, so when we are quiet, then it will make things now work. It doesn't make it work. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. If we want things to be different, we need to begin to ask ourselves what is different to us. What do, what do we what do we accept as being different? So these are some of the things that we should look upon. So leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.